Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip on how to do a word problem and this is specifically going to be an overtake word problem about if you have two, uh, in this case planes traveling in the same distance uh, at different speeds with one having a head start on, in front of the other, how long does it take for one of them to over, the faster one to overtake the slower one? And this was a specific uh, question asked by um, one of someone uh, in the comments so I wanted to map it out here for you I wanted to quickly point out that all these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other websites that may be of assistance uh, to you so what we're gonna do we're gonna do this problem here so plane A is traveling at 300 miles per hour and is 350 miles ahead of plane B but plane B is traveling at 400 miles per hour, how long would it take plane B to overtake or to catch up to plane A? And then what we're going to do when we're done with that, we're going to check if we didn't know it was 350 miles ahead, but we were given other information and said, what if you didn't know plane A was 350 miles ahead, but knew that it had a one hour head start in front of plane B? So we'll do that one also. So first off, what we're going to do is we are going to um, map out uh, the distance formula here. So distance is always going to equal rate times time. Okay, so D equals R times T. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to make plane A equal to plane B. And you know they're not equal because they have different speeds and they're at different lo different uh, spots in flight. So plane A, we said, is going 300 miles per hour. So we know it's 300 miles per hour times time, which we don't know how much time it's going to take for this to overtake, for plane B to overtake plane A. But we also know that plane B, or sorry, plane A is 350 miles ahead of plane B. So it's going to be 300 times time plus 350 for distance. And then plane B is just leaving the runway. And so it's 400 miles per hour times time. So now what we do is we use simple algebra and we put the 300t and the 400t on the one side so that's going to equal 400t minus 300t is 100t is equal and we bring down the 350 okay so now 350 equals 100t so now we divide 100 into 350 and I can just look at that and and determine it's 3.5 is equal to t so in this case the answer is 3.5 hours. And now what we can do, we can we can back into that too, so we can we can double check our work. So we know that in 3.5 hours, so plane A, let me scratch that out. Plane A travels is already gone 350 miles plus they've traveled 300 miles per hour for 3.5 hours and that should be equal to B which travels at 400 miles per hour times 3.5 okay so if I look at B 400 times 3.5 is 400 times 3 is 1200 and then 0.5 of, of 400 is 200 so that's 1400 and then Plane A, 350, they've gone 350 miles, plus they've gone 300 miles per hour for 3.5 hours. So 300 times 3.5 is 300 times 3 is equal to 900, and 300 times 0.5 is equal to 150. So that's 1050 plus 350 is equal to 1400. So we've double checked our work and 3.5 hours looks correct. So let's go back and look at the second option there. What if we didn't know plane A was 350 miles ahead 
but we did know that it had a one hour head start. So we'll go in here and we will, in this case, I'm going to, let me erase, let me just, let me erase some of this. I'll just clear it out. So we've got plane A this time is we're going to make A equal to B. But this time we know that plane A is 300 T plus a one hour head start is equal to 400 T. But with this, when you get the when you get a time head start in this case, we use distributive property here. So it's going to be 300 t plus one. So now that's going to equal 300 t plus 300 times one. 300 is equal to 400 t. Okay, and then we use simple math again and now so that's going to be 400 T minus 300 T so that's going to be 100 T and this time we're going to bring down the 300 so we're going to divide 100 into 300 to get rid of the T so that is going to be equal to 3 so there you have it if plane A had a one hour head start it would be three hours for plane B to overtake plane A. And you could do the same thing here, like if we did A and B, would be able to map those out and say that um, it's pr fairly straightforward because we know in one hour plane A travels 300 miles per hour, 300 miles. So plane A would be uh, in three hours um, we know it would go it would go 900 miles plus the 300 that it is already um, in the air for and then plane B would be 400 times 3 is equal to 1200 alright that's what I want to share with you today thanks for joining and take care